Hi, welcome to Working Man Studios, and this is Carl. I'm going to do a review slash uh, overview of the Tube preamp from Art. This is the Tube MP series project, uh, Tube MP project series preamp, and so far uh, I like it. It's really nice. Uh, it adds some warmth to your vocals, and it it enhances them. Um, that and um, bass especially sounds a lot better through this, as well as uh, guitar sounds pretty good. Not as good as it could with you know a real tube amp, but it does sound great. And bass, I think bass sounds really amazing through this, um, as well as vocals sound pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little uh, review right now. Uh, I mean overview, and then we'll get into the review part. I'll do you know test on vocals. I'll do a test on bass, and I'll do a test on guitar. Um, possibly some acoustic guitar if I have time. So, um, this video may be split into mo multiple videos uh, to conserve um, to conserve time. So, the gain switch here, or the gain um, pot here, it's kind of quiet on the other side of the t 20 dB. Um, if you do not have the 20 dB engaged, then it's g putting the gain all the way up. You're probably going to need to do that. You have to. I mean, it's it's kind of a quiet, quiet tube. Um, but I, I usually just turn the, the 20 dB of gain up, and I usually set it about 13, and that gives me a nice healthy level with my uh, my signal. But uh, that's just me. Um, you know, everything's different when you put it into your own studio or whatever you're putting it into. I haven't had to use the impedance switching um, because I'm using mostly dynamic microphones. Um, the filter I have used, it it cuts it, I think it said 75 dB or it was 40 dB. I'm not sure, but it, do, it does roll off some of the bass. You have a phantom power, which I haven't used yet. I have used the limiter and it does a good job at uh, taking out unnecessary spikes and peaks in your recordings. And then the phase invert on and off, I haven't had to use, but I messed with it. Um, it creates this weird kind of noise if you, you know, just, you're, you're just using it on your mic. It makes it sound different. I don't know, maybe you use that as an effect or some sort of idea like that. And then your output, you have, you know, you have negative 28 dB to 50, or 5 dB plus dB. I like to take it and put it around the, in between the negative 1 and 1, kind of like you know zero as zero db and i think i get a great really great signal with that um i have used the the input for the the um the guitars and i use the xlr input for the mics uh probably my biggest complaint about this which i really think they could have done was added an on off switch because you have to take and to power up the unit, you have to go and plug it in. And you can see it comes on there. And I just, I personally don't like it. The fact that I have to plug it in and unplug it all the time. Just a bit of an, an annoying thing. It's, you know, a personal thing. Um, you know, I, I, I like to have things plugged in and just turn them on when I need them. Other than that, I usually keep it, you know. Sitting right there next to my mixer. It's got a small footprint, which is great. Um, a lot of, you know, home recording studios, you need a small output, not small output, um, small footprint on your desk because, as you can see here, I have my mixer. And on the other side of my desk, on the other side of the mixer, it's it's the scene of my desk, my mouse, I have the EMP series here, and I have my Mac. And then right here is the mic stand, and all my cables are next to the Mac, and then I have my little, <laughs> barely a keyboard workspace. Um, so I guess what I should tell you is right now I'm running my EV mic into my mixer. Uh, nothing's being cut in, cut in, nothing's cut, nothing's boosted. Uh, gain is around probably about 60 or uh, 50 dB, if you're wondering that. So what we're going to do is, first I guess I'll do vocals into here, and it'll go into my preamp, I mean into the mixer, 
and from the mixer it'll go into the sound card of the Mac because I still do not have an audio interface. But I have been looking at Apogee's products and I think I'm going to get the Apogee one because no one could afford no um <laughs> no musician who has m no money could afford an Apogee duet because they're five hundred dollars. So I'll be getting the Apogee one and I guess I'll put it right on top of here because it's got a nice small footprint and it would go perfect right here. Um I may get a replacement uh mixer or interface such as the Behringer UCA two oh two to connect all this up for a temporary fix. But uh so that's I'm gonna call this the overview of the tube MP product series and I'll be posting the reviews with vocals, uh, guitar, electric guitar, electric bass, and an acoustic guitar. And I have a, a djembe, but I probably won't do that. Um, I don't see really a need to. So I'll have those up and running within the next day or two, all of those. So thanks, check back soon, and have a nice day.